Hi kitty cats, another book reading. And again, same, women in science. And this time we're going to read about Hertha Ayrton is the uh, name of the, the scientist. She's an engineer, mathematician, and an inventor, right? And she was the first woman to win a Hugh, Hughes Medal from the Royal Society in the UK. She's the English woman. She invented a better electric arc and further our, our understanding of electrical current. And first woman accepted into the Institution of Electrical Engineers. And um, she said, an era that ascribes to a man that was what was actually the work of a woman has more lives than a cat. That's what she says. And this is what she looks like. Right? We're going to read about her right now. Okay? Um, the, um, she's an engineer, mathematician, and inventor. And her name is Hertha Ayrton. In 1854, Phoebe Sarah Marks was born in England. She was so energetic that her friends nicknamed her Hertha after a German earth goddess, a name she liked so much that she adopted it. Hertha was definitely the type to live life on her own terms. Hertha's family was very poor. So at 16, instead of pursuing her passion to go to a university, she worked as a governess to send money home. Fortunately, she met Madame Bautichon, a leader of the suffrage movement in the UK, who would help Hertha and pay for her education. Suffrage movement was about women asking for right to vote, or equal rights, right? In technical school, she met Professor William Ayrton, who would become her husband and partner in invention. In 1890s, awful flickering and hissing electric arc were used for street lights and lightning in lighting in theaters. William and Hertha wanted to improve the lighting technology to make something quieter. At one point in the invention process, all of their notes accidentally burned in the fireplace and Hertha had to start over from scratch. While William was away, she invented a new rod that made a clean and quiet bright light. Hertha bust open doors for women by getting published and giving lectures on electricity. During demonstrations about the arc, people were amazed to see a woman wielding such dangerous looking equipment. She was the first female member of the Institution of Electrical Engineers. However, women were not allowed to speak at the Royal Society. When her book, The Electric Arc, was published in 1902, it became too successful to ignore and the Royal Society eventually allowed her to present her own paper. In 1906, they also awarded her the Hughes Medal for her body of work concerning electricity. Hertha was also fearless when it comes to politics. She was a vocal advocate of the suffrage, suffragist movement and provided aid to female protesters on hunger strikes. Hertha participated in the 1911 boycott of England census and wrote an impassioned letter on the form, demanding the vote for women. Hertha's genius paved the way for women everywhere to play with dangerous machinery and invent great things. So that's Hertha Ayrton, right? And she is, um, she has registered 26 patents. So it's an invention. 
She was good friends with Marie Curie. There's another person we will learn about later on. She studied wind motion and water vortex vortices. Yeah, water vortices. Named her child after Madame Barbara Bourdichon and her friends and supporter. Because she remember she uh, sent her to school. She was the first woman nominated to be a fellow of the Royal Society. Though they did not officially accept women until 1940s. Invented the Ayrton, Ayrton fan to blow away mustard gas during World War I. And she invented a line divider for architect. So these were her contribution to science and engineering and mathematics, right? So there she is. So another um, very smart woman who invented a lot of things that we use today. Okay. All right, that's all for now. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye-bye.